why collect hot toys? Like, what, what would you recommend? Why get into collecting this, this type of toy? If you're really interested in photography and like taking pictures of people, but you don't have people to take pictures of, or you want to create a unique scene with your, one of your favorite characters, because they do look photo real and people often mistake them in photos as real people. But if you just really love a certain character from a movie, like your favorite movie of all time, and you want to literally have that character in six scale form, I mean, Hot Toys is literally going to give you that. The first one I saw was this Joker Hot Toys figure. It's kind of similar to this one. It was, a, it was like smaller like this. I remember seeing photos of it online on Google. And I was like, is that a real picture of like Heath Ledger as the Joker? Like I actually thought it was a real photo from the movie. And I was like, I don't remember that. And then I realized later on that it actually was a Hot Toys figure. And I had mistaken it for a real person. I like these are these things you can buy. And then I started kind of like, I think I just looked it up one time and I was like, oh, okay, so they don't just make the Joker. They make all kinds of like different characters from comic book movies, Star Wars, mainstream. What prices, you know, right. these, these are looking at like, what, what are the ranges? The ranges and prices depend on whether they're sold out and the, if you're going to buy it on the secondary market. $100 to $400 for like these scale figures, depending on the character. But if you're getting a quarter scale figure, it can be five hundred to six hundred dollars, um, wow. but on the secondary market, it can be cheaper. Like this one was cheaper on the secondary market on eBay. Which was that one? New Goblin one from uh, Spider Man Three. It sells out. The value increase. There's more demand. It can start becoming a little bit expensive. Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, with with all the toys, but you know, I I think you taking a different spin to it. What what do you get to do with these toys? I know a lot of collectors. Um, like to kind of display them and they call it the museum pose where you just kind of have them like straight up and down to where there's no because people some collectors worry about damaging the fabric if you have it because this is all like fabric it's not like a mm. plastic that's what makes them so valuable i think it's like hand sewn and stuff like that you can see the seam on the back it's a good way to practice photography like framing composition and all that you think this is like an art form that you know people you know, are discovering or like, I know that art is something that some people uh, have high standards for, I guess, and specific rules and definitions. And, and I kind of fall into that. Like, obviously, like if you put a tomato on like a box in a, in a room, like that's not art. That's just weird. You know, claiming things as art is kind of like this new thing. Like anything can be art. And I'm kind of like, oh, I'm kind of cautious about that because I think when you start going down that path and you kind of lose what art is and what it means. What would you say is uh, your definition of art? I'm thinking about a book that I read once. Art is an exaggeration of reality. It's a portrayal of reality that's slightly different from reality. Sculptures, for example, like in back in the Greek and Roman times, they had sculptures that were pretty detailed. I mean, these are kind of like statues and sculptures in a way. And I don't just mean because of it's like a full figure. I mean, I'm talking about the head sculpts. Like a lot of the head sculpts look insanely realistic. Harry Osborn from Spider-Man 3. You know, the camera's not picking it up as well. I think that's what bring, draws me into these the most is the head sculpts and the paint applications on the uh, heads because of how detailed and realistic it is. I, I've seen some of these pictures that you posted and honestly, it just, you know, it just really looks like the actual person itself. Even like the tailoring of the uh, clothing and all that. Like it doesn't yeah. feel like a cheap doll, you know, it's actually really well done. The coolest thing I think about Hot Toys and my favorite thing about them, like one of their, their motto is like to take a figure from a movie and literally put it in six scale form in front of you. And so they don't just do really good with the head sculpts. They also do really good with the accessories. Functional, they actually move. Um, this is a spring loaded thing. The clip comes out, it, it folds up just like in the movie. It just amazes me to see how, you know, how complex, like realistic these these uh, toys are being created. I mean, it honestly feels like you actually have the the real person or the real character in your hands. So I think back then, like you said, sculptures, paintings, you know, people wanted to have them at their house or, you know, have them somewhere where they can see them because it represented something that they found valuable and for you in this case you know collecting all these things you know i mean look at that like it looks so crazy you yourself are willing to spend money for something that's outside of the box we've seen the movement of nfts you know that's something that's going on right now digital art 
it's not physical wherever we we go in our attention uh whether that be physically or virtually there's going to be ways to continue to show off through art through uh collectibles people paying fifty thousand dollars sixty thousand dollars for a digital piece of art you know which back then you know people would never thought of having created a career through art people are creating paintings in virtual reality it's really interesting and you know it'll continue to exist throughout time you know where do you put your value you know some people put value in cars and they collect expensive cars you know some people put value in buying fine china fine china can be really expensive mm -hmm. and some people like to collect that and uh, i think it really just kind of depends on what you value the most in life it kind of like guides what you spend your most of your money on, I think. Essentially, all of this that, you know, all the toys that you have, they're intellectual property, right? Something people created one day, you know, they thought about the Joker, they thought about Batman, and people found value in it because they felt connected to the mission that the character had. When I was growing up as a kid, I liked uh, action figures and stuff like that. Then, I, you know, I grew out of it as I got older. But I think with these, it just blows me away so much. And they're actually not even made for children. And it actually says, like, I think age 17 and up. It's just really cool to have something so detailed that it feels like you're literally holding something from your favorite movie. I'm not going to say they're perfect. And other collectors will say this too, like they're fragile because they're not really designed to be played with. And I could be wrong. I think they're like designed for photography and for display. I've had some of them kind of break a little bit, like uh, the Harley Quinn, because I posed her in like photos and stuff. It's like starting to tear right there. I had to glue Daredevil's thing back on on my back because it came off. If you're going to spend that kind of money, you expect it to hold up. But at the same time, they're not really designed to be rough with. Don't do it just because just for the hell of it, like do it and actually really think about, do you really want this character? That's why there's a huge debate right now about Hot Toys reissuing figures. They're re-releasing the same figure they made like years ago that already sold out. It's like people who collect it and want to resell them for higher profit are, are upset because now the their value of the figure they had is going to go down because it's no longer a limited edition. I'm kind of okay with re-releases just because I've just started and I think other people who are just starting the collection can have a second chance of not spending a ridiculous like 500 to a thousand dollars for a figure reissues could be justified if hot toys updates the figure like they redo the head sculpt to make it better add uh new accessories that were never there before if there's any hot toys figure you could get i guess is there anyone would i get yeah man <sighs>